hello it's Sarah I have been playing with shrinky dinks or this is actually not shrinky dinks this is shrink film and it's by graphics a company called graphics but I actually got Maya a shrinky dink the actual company shrinky dink for Christmas and um, this package was right near them and I didn't even look at it when I bought it I just grabbed it to play with so she's not here yet. She didn't open her gifts yet. She's in Mexico. Um, but um, hers was like a package of pre-cut pieces. Um, what I get, it's like, I think there were six sheets, eight and a half by 11 inch sheets. And it's kind of like, this is a, a cloudy one. So I don't think, I think this is considered opaque. Um, but I know they have uh, crystal clear. They have... Um, stuff that you can use and put it through your inkjet printer. I think it's your inkjet. So I really didn't, I knew nothing about um, shrinky dinks. I have never done shrinky dinks. And shrinky dinks are actually from when I was a kid. I'm 51. Anyway, um, so I was playing. I played last night and I've been playing a little bit more today and kind of, um, getting better I'm getting a better result or what I think I want my result to be and what I'm kind of doing is making charms and this started because I saw uh, oh my gosh what's her name Barb Owen Barb Owen had a video where she did these bookmarks so I watched that and everything and then at the end of it she puts these charms on it and they were made from shrink wrap. So she was doing little mandalas, right? Little, um, you know, the, um, it's a circular design, like geometric pattern or something. I don't know. But anyway, and then she shrunk them down. So she has a book actually. And then she shrunk her designs down and made them into little charms. So I just started drawing charms. And most of these, these bigger ones, this shape here, these, all these bigger ones, are my big this is three inches around my three inch around circle punch and I was you don't need to punch at all you can cut these any shape you want or even if you have anything like a lid you know a soda can just put it on there and draw it out but my, the thought was that you actually want it at least three inches to start because then you shrink it so you have to kind of start with a decent sized um, to begin with. So I also ended up pulling out my um, Stampendous stamp set, this one, these butterflies, because I was like, oh, those butterflies are huge. Like this butterfly, the big one on here is at least three inches. He is four, five, four and three quarter inches wide at his widest point, and then three inches you know so I did all three of these and I did some hummingbirds that I have like tried to find some biggish stamps that I had like I love dragonflies so I pulled this Tim Holtz stamp and here he is this is just done with um, green um, stamp stays on this green color for a dragonfly and I'm gonna shrink that with you I'm gonna let you watch me shrink him my other one didn't turn out as well because I'll show you that in a minute because I cut all everything out and when you do that sometimes it'll curl up and it touches the other part and it melts together so I thought I would like leave this in one big piece as best I could so I'm going to show you how I do it in a minute but these are the butterflies these are the three butterflies that I did and this so in other words this butterfly right here was that so that's how much it shrinks and I don't love the way I colored it. I mean, I did it, um, I think it's red and orange. I used my Sharpies. I have been using Sharpies. And I think Maya's set, the set I got for Maya, comes with colored pencils. And I haven't tried colored pencils at all yet. So I'll try that with her. We'll use the colored pencils. Um, yeah, anywho. Uh, so this is basically Sharpies. This is all Sharpies, this one. And then I saw a video, and I don't remember who it was by, but she was putting, after she, she actually printed out a bunch of, 
she loves the character Zelda from The Legend of Zelda, and it's a video game. So she was printing out and coloring a bunch of those and shrinking them down and making charms. It was super cute. But she would use ultra thick on hers, UT, UT right? So I thought, all right, I'll do that. So of course, because I, I have it. And I'm not sure if double heating this was good or not, but it came out all bumpy and lumpy, like not smooth. Maybe I didn't put enough on, like I left a thin coat on there, but and I should have put a thicker coat. I'm not sure. I'm going to turn my light up a little bit. Um, so I tried a few things, and then this one has no UT on it at all. It's just metallic Sharpie. I, got, I have a set of three metallic Sharpies. I have gold bronze and silver so I played with those as well so I think this is silver and bronze this little butterfly um, and then I just put stickles on him so I like how that turned out and I stamped him with blue stays because my black stays on is dried out and I, I so I need to get a new black um, ink pad but anyway so I like how he turned out really cool like that the way the metallics turn out on here is really cool um, and then where's my third butterfly? This little guy. Again, I don't love the way I colored it. Um, and I put stickles on him too. So this was yesterday. So yesterday wasn't, I didn't have fails. I wouldn't consider them fails. Um, I did a bunch of these um, just words. And I was finding like, when I did the UT on top of Hope, Hope looked fine. Hope was good. But then... It melted the when the UT melted it kind of pulled the black ink away from the line so that I mean and again it's got this bumpy look to it um, I don't know I think that could also be because I'm I'm kind of doing I'm melting it on this glass mat and it has like a bumpy ish um, surface so I'm not sure what it is because some of them didn't come up bumpy um, I put stickles stickles this is UT so yeah I didn't these are some of my faves I'll show you some my love turned out okay but it's just wonky it didn't turn out flat then I started taking my big stamping block and while it was still warm just setting my stamping block on top of it and that helped to flatten them out so after that, most of them got flat. Then some of them, these two actually, which I really like, and these have um, these have glossy accents. I didn't do UT, actually not glossy accents, Dimensional Magic. I put Dimensional Magic on these just to give them a little extra shine. So these two I did with um, mica powders mixed with varnish to make it like a paint. And they came out so sheer, like really not bright. But then when I added the dimensional magic to them, they really, the color popped. So I was happier with them then. So they're kind of cute. And before you bake, or I haven't baked any of these actually. I've only used my heat gun. Um, and I'm kind of, ugh, I'm kind of getting grossed out by the smell. So um, I did this little like Zentangle one. And it's pretty cool. What's coolest is you start out big like these actually were my smaller punch so this is like two and a half inches the smaller ones these are the three inch punch um, and then today I started going down in size to really see how small I could go before it like got out of control to melt but I really like these peace signs the love turned out really cool I put silver lines in the background but then I added the dimensional magic dimensional magic is on on all the ones from yesterday but this one let me I'm gonna zoom in instead of coming up to the camera see if that'll come in focus um, I started using my gel pens on some of them let's see if that's gonna come in focus there you go so all the pink flowers have my glitter what I found out today though is the best way to go and I'm going to show you um, an example of this so I love inspire and I didn't do anything to that like no nothing to shine it up this is just how the plastic comes out this is black sharpie and gold sharpie that's it um, 
that the create same thing I did put um, dimensional magic on it but it's black sharpie and gold sharpie so those are both charms this is bronze and I did put dimensional magic on that dimensional magic so this is from yesterday then today and the hope like I said kind of a fail because the the lettering smeared when I melted the UT um, so then see here's another um, peace sign I like that one play I don't know I liked it because I zentangled the words like I put little I used um, my little micron pens these my very fine tip colored pens so these are an 01 size and so I could really make like a zentangle but when you shrink it you see all those lines in there it's pretty cool like this one was just messy I could I could do it neater so I might try that again um, what else? Okay, so those were from yesterday. So I'll put them to the side. Then today, look at this butterfly. I love how that turned out. That butterfly. And did this hummingbird turn out good? The hummingbirds, this hummingbird turned out pretty good. But look how small it is. So this hummingbird is actually the size of this hummingbird. Let me put it on top. So that's how small it gets when you shrink it. Isn't that crazy? But he turned out cute. I put a little ruby throat on him. I'll show you what I did because to get that shimmer I started using my gel pen. So this this is the big butterfly that's the difference with him and I just kept it simple and only used two colors on this one and I'll show you what I did with that this is the big um, but his tail stuck together let me see if this one's better this one's a little better so this is the bigger um, hummingbird but see his tail stuck together because I cut it apart and then it bends and it sticks to each other but I love how his wings are, the way I did his wings with the glitter. Um, this one I don't think I put glitter. This is just Sharpie. This is only Sharpie, so I didn't put glitter. So I'm really liking it with the gel pens, but I'll show you what I do for that. So those turned out pretty good. They're a little small, but look how pretty this butterfly turned out. This is my favorite, and I'll tell you what I did for this. First, I colored the whole entire thing with Sharpie. So I used my teal Sharpie and my light green Sharpie. These two colors, I'm pretty sure. It's either the teal or the green. No, I think it's this one. So the light green and the teal colored the whole thing. Then let it sit for a minute, like let it dry. Then I went back with some gel pens, like probably... I only went around the edges, I went on the lines, like outlined the sections kind of with the glitter gel pen for the light green and with the glitter gel pen on the turquoise. And then in the center, like on his body, I did both colors and you can kind of see, but that makes such a difference. When you shrink it, you really like that's really pretty I didn't put anything else on that and in real life like it looks so pretty it really does I stamped these with um, I have a teal color so I was I started using these so that like it could just be I think I stamped this one with this I think I don't remember and then I just cut it out right right along the line so um, then what else? Then I started doing flowers and look how cool this flower looks. These two were both done, I want to say they were the three inch circle, but I'm not positive. They could have been the two and a half. Look how little these are. So like you could put a little hummingbird coming in for the flower. But these are little charms. Um, this one's super cute because see I put the stickles or not the stickles I'm thinking stickles um, yeah you could probably put a little I think glossing them up is good but this doesn't really this is just Sharpie I think I think these are both this no I think these are both just Sharpie 
there's no gel pens on these so they're not as glittery but I'll show you what I'm doing now I also did like here's the dragonfly the Tim Holtz dragonfly the first one I did see how he stuck to himself so I'm gonna melt this one but he got messed up I did the Tim Holtz compass and I just cut them out so this compass is this big I'm gonna put it down so see how how much it shrinks and I didn't do anything to it I just stamped it in brown I stamped it with brown stays on that's it and then I just cut kind of like the shape of that I cut it out and what else did I do then I started getting really small and I used this stamp which it or I mean punch which it doesn't have this size but I have another one so this is the size of the punch that I punched out and they melt to that size so this turned out to that and this turned out really cool because I used um, gel pens first you do Sharpie then you do gel pens on top of it and that's how you get it to be opaque and everything because if you just do gel pens it rubs off because this is like it's kind of it's not slick but it makes the the ink kind of bubble on top of it it's hard to, to, to describe um, so then and look how small these are I actually punched a couple of small circles like this size this size circle turns out that big and these are really like you can't tell because but these have glitter all over them too or the gel gel pen and the, it, they're just sparkly so they're super cute and they I don't know like if I think I'm gonna put something together like with a bunch of them on it and see how it feels so basically all I do is and I've watched a couple I'm gonna leave the paper here because I think it'll be um, when I melt it you'll see better because I have a glass piece under here I'm working on this one I'm gonna melt this one in a minute I'm not quite finished but if you look this side here so I'm gonna use pink see I've already smudged it just picking that up I smudged the um, the gel pen so I'm going back the sharpie won't smudge but the gel pen does so I'm just going to clean it up a little and redo it. Yeah, that looks better. I'm just looking at it now, kind of. All right, it looks cleaner. Um, but yeah, see how the, the gel pen comes right off. So you have to kind of be ready to melt it. If you're, if you're going to be touching it and stuff, you have to be ready to melt it. So I'm hoping this is the right color, pink. Um, that was dumb of me not keeping the um, I actually think it is the metallic so all I did for this one was go right over now it's not the right color go right over the sharpie so the sharpies on there it's a permanent ink it's alcohol ink and it won't rub off I mean it hasn't for me so and this is actually a moonlight jelly roll Oh, that's not the color either oh my gosh sorry don't you love when I'm so prepared I actually think it is the metallic I think when it dries it just looks a little different so I'm gonna use this pink metallic we'll go back over here so basically I just drew a circle but when this melts it looks really cool so I'm gonna outline this and it's even better if I write right over the um, the Sharpie line. So you want to basically just trace over the Sharpie line and it kind of makes the metallic pop even better. So I'm not going around it, I'm going on it. And this is all going to shrink. So you're not going to really notice any of the mess ups by the time uh, it's so shrink up you'll see the glitter but you won't see the mistakes um, we'll hope for the best because this is gonna look cool and I didn't cut out the shape of the flower I just am using the whole circle and this is my three inch punch so this is a three inch circle 
All right, does that look like I got every place? And then in the center, I used um, my green gel ro jelly roll. This is, let's see, I think it's, uh, Probably this one. No, it's not. All right, so let's melt it. First thing I want to do, though, is put a hole. So I'm just using my... Um, it stinks that I can't remember what the hell... I guess it's metallic, but it doesn't look the same. Um, anyway, I'm using... Let me just... No, it's not glitter. Maybe it's... I don't think that's metallic. It is. It's the green metallic. Um, I'm using my uh, We Are Memory Keepers um, Cropodile. And I just kind of pick somewhere I want to put it to the top, I guess. I'm going to put it on this side. And I've been using the bigger, the biggest hole. And make sure you're like not too close to the top because it melts. So let's let me show you what happens. And I just take my my heat tool and I have what heat tool do I have? It doesn't have a name on it. Oh, Marvy. It says Marvy. It's just your basic um, craft heat tool for embossing, right? And I let it get hot. And then I take my. Uh, this is a stylus, and I stick it in the hole, and then I go right down on top of it. it to the glass it's hot and then I'm gonna put my um, I put my little uh, my big I should say um, stamping block on top of it just to kind of while it cools and I just work the paper but let's melt this um, dragonfly too I'll let you see how there's a lot of well there's actually not a lot a lot of videos about um, embossing or in doing shrinky dinks but there's enough so I mean if I'm not the best at it to itself. Oh, there it is. That actually worked much better. I haven't, oh shit, see I just <laughs> made a total dent in it. But I haven't done it on paper before. So I have a feeling this is not a good idea. It's kind of sticking to the paper. And I haven't done it on paper, so bad idea. But that was looking okay until I just totally dented the wing. It's not really, yeah. So see how bright my, this is too shiny to show you. But look how this turned out. So this is the flower pendant and see how it's coming out bumpy but look at all the glitter and it doesn't really look messy maybe those aren't the best colors to use see the gold I use the gold sharpie on the edges so I think that's pretty cool anywho let's see so this dragonfly definitely worked better because I didn't um, 
cut the wings apart even though I stabbed it in the wing when it was warm like you can't really when it's when it's um, cooling you can't do it but um, if you cut the wings apart they curl up on each other and they they'll stick to each other that's what happened on this one these two wings totally stuck to each other so see they're stuck like they're actually apart see but they bent up and stuck and then the tail just completely curled up I probably could have straightened it but I haven't put them in the oven at all yet so I don't know what they'll look like when you put them in the oven um, you have to check your degrees and make sure that um, I think two minutes it says on the packaging I forget uh, but I love this butterfly he's the total he's my fave of the of the bunch I'm going to put the, this white uh, paper down to see if it helps. Yeah, it's a bunch of scribble, but... Um, so I have a couple favorites. My dream turned out good. But yeah, I feel very like... <coughs> like, I don't know, the smell isn't, isn't the best. I like these butterflies. I don't, I don't love the dragonfly. I think I would draw my own or something. Um... I love my little create sign and it just looks nice with the um, the extra glossiness to it I think I think adding that kind of like maybe I'll add it to this but yeah I love see how that has just the metallic feel to it because I don't have any metallic sharpies if you have metallic sharpies you're in business because you can just this has a little metallic, I think, on it, these flowers. I like the flowers a lot. Like, I think I would, I should have cut around this and definitely use darker colors, too, so that you can see. Like, I like the center of this one a lot. Um, but, yeah, I like the flowers, so I think I'm going to bling them up a little bit. And that's it. But that's my little play with Shrinky Dinks. And don't forget, you can use stamps. You can use your own drawings. Look at these tiny ones. These are so adorable. Um, and they don't stick on each other, but I did put a, a decent size hole in these. Don't forget to put a hole. If you like, I didn't put holes in most of the words I put holes, but I didn't put a hole in my butterfly like I should have because that's super cute. Like you could put holes in the ends of his wings and then he could be like on a necklace or something or just a keychain. So, anywho, that's what I've been playing with to just try it out. Shrinky Dinks for the first time in my life. All right, you guys. Oh, and look what my hubby gave me. I got some Michael's money, but look what he did. He put it on polymer clay. That's so cute. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching.